in. The Sunday Life Spirit of Northern Ireland Awards with Spack Savers took place at the start of this week, hosted by Tina and I. And what a wonderful night we all had, albeit a little bit emotional at times, as we celebrated some of the greatest people Northern Ireland has to offer. It's a wonderful idea to have these, uh, these awards. I think it gives such great encouragement to people who uh, you know, have difficulties in life. It reminds us that there are so many unsung heroes in not just Northern Ireland, but in life. People who just do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. It was a real star-studded event, but the real stars of the show were, of course, the 15 unsung heroes who were honoured at Monday's award ceremony. All local people, each with their own story to tell about how they've overcome adversity and achieved so much. There are so many people in Northern Ireland who have done just that and they're absolute inspirations. But one thing I have in abundance in my handbag is tissues because I know I am going to be having to lend them to Julian for a yes. start as well as yes. we will be we, bawling we, our laps We both out. go very we're, easy, oh, don't we? It's shocking. It's like the Pride of Britain award show. I said, I've got a roaring crown on here. I love it worth two pence. Paul Russell. People like 12 year old Paul Russell, who has Apert syndrome and, against all the odds, has achieved so much, like playing the piano. Jason Black, an ex soldier who, in spite of being paralysed, has turned himself into a sporting champion. And young Charlene Barr, who tragically lost her battle with cystic fibrosis. Charlene passed away last year. Yet despite being so ill, raised hundreds of thousands of pounds to build a school in Africa. These three got the big awards of the night, with Charlene Barr winning the ultimate accolade. Needless to say, it was an emotional evening for her parents. I think it's a testimony to the people of Northern Ireland because they made Charlene's dream happen. Certainly we sensed Charlene's presence with us right through the night and, you know, her dream her legacy, her vision continues and it allows the things that she has started to continue. And a performance by pop princess Stacey Solomon brought the evening to a perfect close. What do you think of all our Spirit of Northern Ireland oh, finalists? No, I love it here anyway, let alone to meet the most special people in Northern Ireland. It was lovely, absolutely stunning.